permanence of the human race is no longer secure. Under the guise of the G20 summit, the leaders of the world met to draft an essential and final solution to the unsustainable use of energy and an ever-increasing rate of population growth. Their answer? Operation Icarus, galactic colonization and the inadvertent dawn of the human empire. The world leaders knew it would soon be necessary to mine other planets in order for Earth not to descend into total war over resources. However, they predicted that if they were to make public their drastic solutions to these issues, there would be a huge backlash from environmentalists who would argue that humans would damage other planets in the same way as they damaged Earth. Instead, the newly established Global Assembly planned to justify setting Operation Icarus into motion using invented intelligence regarding the imminent threat to Earth from extraterrestrial invasion. On the morning of the 1st of January 2012, the Global Assembly shocked the world when it woke up to fake broadcasts on every channel and frequency telling the world that in the early hours of the new year, the Hubble Space Telescope had returned indisputable evidence that an unidentified spaceship had entered the solar system. Although NASA has not yet confirmed the authenticity of these images, the Global Assembly reported that they are discussing taking emergency military measures. Thema, das Hubble Weltraum Teleskop. Denn Aliens könnten uns Menschen also ähnlich sein und kommen und sie plantieren und sie zerstören. At the same time, in another little notice story, many NASA employees did not return home from the agency's New Year's Eve party due to what was described as a freak tragic accident. With the world led to mistakenly believe that their planet was under alien threat, a minimum 35-year world ceasefire was declared and ratified by every major world government. Japan, Germany, the USA and the UK each commissioned the creation of their own command ships and a small fleet of fighters to be sent into space to spearhead the defense of Earth and the preemptive occupation of every rock planet in the solar system. Within days of the occupation of the Earth's neighboring planets and their moons, the inevitable energy crisis had been avoided.
In the summer of 2012, the Global Assembly held a press conference to announce that the so-called New Year aliens had not been hostile or dangerous and had immediately fled our solar system. An environmentalist questioned whether the Earth would now stop mining and industrial action that could damage other planets' climates and call back all humans to Earth. To the outrage of the environmentalists, the Global Assembly stated that the Earth would maintain military and industrial occupation of the solar system for at least 50 years, as a necessary measure in case the New Year aliens returned. The Global Assembly had therefore legitimized the hold of the valuable planets and their endless resources, and although small pockets of intellectuals suspected and even voiced their doubts about the existence and authenticity of the New Year aliens in the first place, these theories were ridiculed and largely dismissed as conspiracies. On the eve of the 1st of September 2012, world leaders and the Global Assembly High Command gathered to watch a live video feed showing legions of the Earth soldiers march across the surface of Mars. The live feed was suddenly interrupted. While they waited for it to return, the leaders raised a toast to their success, which turned to horror as the feed returned.